Hey, what's up boys? Back with the final episode in this series of rebuilding these Epsilons. Finally towards the end now. Uh, this episode is going to be pretty quick um, compared to the other ones in the series. Basically we're just going to um, we're gonna get the faces ceramic coated. We're going to get the barrels back. Those are uh, I got picked those up here this week. Um, get those two things done and then uh, order the hardware, reassemble the wheels, and then take them back to get ceramic coated. So it's going to be a fairly short episode. Um, but we're getting pretty close to the uh, the wheels being done and uh, getting ready to be on the car. Would you can see behind me? Uh, let's see, it's currently aired out on the other wheels. We're pretty much at the end of the uh, the road here, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get those uh, those things, the barrels here this week. Hopefully they came out good and uh, all that good stuff. So let's get this episode done. Let's get these wheels back together, and uh, we'll probably do like. I might do a test fit at the end of this. I'm not really sure yet, um, but uh, let's get into it. All right, boys. So I got the uh, the barrels back yesterday, and they're here in the spare room. So um, obviously they're just gloss black, but I'll take you out in the sun and see what they look like in the sun. Because um, I wanted, it, like I said, I wanted to be subtle with it, but I definitely wanted to, you know, tie the front end and the rear end together, just because I like doing, you know, small things to tie everything together. So. Still waiting on the hardware. Like I said in the last clip, got all my washers over here where they're supposed to be. So once the um, once the other stuff comes, we can pretty much put it back together. I'm gonna go take these faces and drop them off tomorrow, which they're over there in that corner. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop those off to shit. There we go. Drop them off to the homie probably tomorrow, and he says it's gonna take him like a week or so to get them done. So hopefully by that time the hardware will be here, and then. We can go ahead and um, start assembling them. And uh, now I'll take them to him again so he can ceramic coat the inside of the barrels and um, the, the front lips and everything like that. And then after that is done, we can go ahead and seal them. And then this series will be done. Um, if you guys wanna watch any videos of the, the wheels actually going on the car or anything like that, um, you have to check those out uh, separate from this because this is just a rebuild series. So um, we're almost there and then uh, I'll take some pictures of what they look like completed and obviously some video, but uh, I'll also do some clips and stuff with the uh, the center caps because they'll be all completed together and I think it'll look a lot better. So, pretty fucking dope. I'll show you what these look like out here in the sun. Alright boys, as you can see from the last clip that uh, the barrels are done finally in the way that they're supposed to be. Like I said, they're supposed to be just simple gloss black, but they're supposed to have the gold flake in them, so they came out pretty good. Um, today's my birthday and it's like my only day off, pretty much. So, damn it. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and go over to my friend uh, Matt's uh, shop. I'm gonna drop off the faces. I got them in the car right now. Got one down here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Um, got those ready to uh, get dropped off for the uh, the ceramic coating process and then once he gets done with those uh, the hardware will be here in the mail so then we can reassemble and then um, go ahead and get the wheels back over him for a one uh, last time so we can ceramic coat the lips and the barrels and then this series will compete wow this series will be complete so uh, hopefully we're not overexposed but yeah, I'm gonna go drop these off. I'll get them back in probably like a week or whatever, and then the hardware will be here, and then we can go ahead and get this uh, these set of wheels on the car here pretty soon. So, and we're just going everywhere with the fucking shit. But anyways, guys, I'll check back in when I get them back. All right, so got the faces back from ceramic coat. We're going here. Um, I kind of just got one here sitting down here, um, ready to go. All the faces are just kind of sitting everywhere with the barrels. But we're gonna start assembling these probably tomorrow. Um, just kind of working on the car, but um, obviously the barrels and the lips are going to be the last thing to get um, ceramic coated, but the faces are all done, so it should be a lot easier to keep them clean um, as far as, you know, keeping the fucking things clean and, you know, not having to sit there and get in there on those tiny spots and all that good stuff. She'll just spray the stuff on, get the, uh, the little detailing um, boar hair brushes or whatever, and uh, just kind of get them cleaned up real fast, but... This is pretty much what's gonna. This is what it's gonna look like when she's done. I just threw like the other bolts in there, but I got all the hardware now. 
Um, they sent me new hardware, but they ended up messing up some of them in shipping, so I had to get 16 new ones sent to me. Um, so those are all good, like all the all the chrome itself on the bolts or whatever were um, like starting to peel off, and I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be paying for these bolts, I'm gonna make sure that they are um, correct. I'm not gonna sit there and pay for bolts when they're gonna be damaged, but uh, this is what they're gonna be looking like when they're all back together. Assemble one on video, so this video is not too long, and then just go ahead and assemble the rest of them, but I'm probably just gonna do one by myself so I can get the feel for it, and then I'll uh, throw some time lapse in and you know, all that good stuff of putting the other ones all together um, after everything's all fixed. But uh, the barrels came out pretty nice. I'm not sure if you can see that. The camera looks like super, I don't know, weird. But um, definitely that gold flake definitely makes a difference. Something subtle, it's not you know a big deal or anything, but definitely something that's pretty cool. And uh, happy I did it, so. But uh, let's get these things fucking back together, boys. All right, boys, so this is the last part of the episode. We're going to start assembling these. I have one of these assembled already, as you can see. To torque the, uh, the bolts and everything, but uh, I don't have a torque wrench that small, so I have to go ahead and borrow one from my friend, but we're just gonna go ahead and knock two out today, then I'll do the other one tomorrow, probably. All right, so this is what we're using. I'm just using my uh, Dewalt Impact for the front bolts, um, and it has an H8 bit on it. Let's see if we can turn it I don't see the writing on it oh here we go now you can see it now but uh, h8 bit for the front bolts for the 3 8 bolts and then I have a 9 16 on just like a flat or a straight breaker bar type deal and uh, I'll just tighten it up with the front with the impact and then hold this on the back nut on the rear and I also have the blue Loctite because I was told to use that on the bolts so we're doing that on each bolt I just uh, put the blue Loctite on there, turn the bolt so it gets all the way around the bolt, and then put the washer on, and then start threading the nut on, and then, like I said, put this on here to hold it, and uh, pretty much get to the point where I'm just doing them one by one. Um, I am sort of kind of going like a, uh, a star pattern. I'm not doing like, you know, just straight around. I've heard both ways. It doesn't really matter, but I still prefer to do the, uh, the little star method or whatever, so that's just what I'm using. Pretty simple setup here. Um, it only took me like, I'd say, 15 minutes or 20 minutes to put that wheel together last night, so this one shouldn't be too bad of a process also to do. Then we'll go ahead and get this shit rolling, so we'll get the light and the camera all set up and everything, and we'll just do a time lapse. Um, this is the car that's going on, if you guys don't know the car or the builder on the channel or whatever. But uh, these were just my uh, spare wheels and stock wheels or non stancy wheels, but it's aired out on those right now. But yeah, this is what she's looking like. So I think it'll look sick with the wheels on it. But like I said, I just got the, the one wheel done last night except for torquing everything and doing the silicone. So I'm just gonna put them all together and then I'll just silicone all of them um, after we're done. And then after that, the last process will be getting it taken to Matt again so he can go ahead and do our ceramic coating um, on the barrels and the lip. So the entire wheel ceramic coated.
All right, boys, so as you've seen from those pictures, I was going to do like a reveal clip and everything, but I, just, I didn't feel like it was necessary. So I just took the pictures that I took for uh, social media and just up or just uh, showed you guys what they came out like. Um, they came out really good for my first time rebuilding wheels. I'm really happy with them. And uh, they're going to be going on the car here pretty soon after I get some exhaust parts. But I just want to go over the breakdown for how much I spent on completely refurbishing them um, and give you guys some tips or whatever. Uh, if you guys are planning on rebuilding these and you like stumble across the uh, the video or whatever, so Sorry, you can hear the stupid locust. It's like 846 right now, but um All right, so We're gonna start with the lips because that was kind of like the first step um, So my friend Matt charged me hundred dollars for the initial polish which they came out Okay, but really wasn't happy with them like I said so I took the time to re-sand them and then get them repolished again and um, I spent like twenty dollars in uh, sandpaper and then it was like another forty dollars um, for him to repolish them because he just did them real quick or whatever. So uh, they came out definitely a lot better, and uh, probably the best they're going to be for being old lips with a uh, little damage. Um, I pretty much took all the damage out, like I said, with the sanding process and everything, and uh, using those little pads or whatever from the previous episode. Um, so that's that for the lips. Um, let's see the faces to get them stripped, um, powder coated with two coats, basically the chrome base and then the uh, transparent gold powder coat on top. Um, that cost me $400 and that took like two weeks to do. Um, I got quotes between like $400 and like $600 um, just from different powder coaters like on Instagram and whatever. I just went with the place that was local because it was pretty close. Because um, it is a hard color to do because you got to lay it down like pretty perfectly. Um, otherwise it doesn't look right. Um, and obviously being these are uh, wheels that are mesh wheels is kind of hard to um, get everything together and uh, get everything looking correct since they are like a really tight mesh but I do think they really came out nice so we have next up we have the barrels um, I paid my friend he's powder coat a few things um, he does good work he just takes a really long time because he's really busy so this was like a really long process and like I said he, he messed it up the first time because he tried to um, fix some imperfections um, because he was just trying to be a good dude and fix imperfections, but um, it ended up just taking away like all the gold finish or whatever that's in the powder coat. Um, so I spent $120 on those, so that's really not that bad. 
um, the hardware, which is like the most expensive part if you're doing like the chrome hardware. If you buy like normal black hardware, it's not really a big deal. Damn bugs. Um, but I paid $184 and that was for all the 3 8 bolts. Um, so 80 bolts. And then um, the rear washers and the rear bolts, which were both gold zinc um, plated ones. So all together that was $184 for that. And um, if you are doing these and redoing these and you want to keep like the stock look with the uh, the socket cap bolts and um, you know do chrome or whatever, um, you will have to get your original washers chromes because they do not make any on the market that I've found from any site um, that are the exact um, outer diameter like they should be to fit into the face. So I had to get mine re-chromed. Um, I had a local place do it for 80 bucks, so I thought it was a really good price. Some people wanted like three or four dollars like a washer, and there's 80 of them, so I was like, F that's ridiculous. Um, so if you guys ever need some like stuff chromed, you guys can just send them to me and I'll get them chromed for you for 80 bucks and then uh, send them back because it's still a lot cheaper than most places that want like, you know, three or four hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. Um, let's see, and then the center caps, I paid $125 for the replica caps and uh, the gel caps that are for the centers. I could have went and used the originals, but I, like, want, I, like I said, I wanted to do the chrome on them, so... I didn't want to mess up the original caps because they are harder to find, um, just like for the actual original ones. Um, even though I'm going to get new gel caps for those, um, just have them for spares or whatever. But those cost me 125 bucks for that, and then it was 45 dollars I think for the paint and like the brushes to do the the chrome, the chrome paint or whatever on them. And then after that, put them back together. Like you see the last clips in the video, um, torqued them down. I torqued them all to. 24 foot pounds with my friend's uh, torque wrench. I gave him like 20 bucks to let me borrow it because I didn't have one that was that small um, that could handle like going from you know like the low amounts or whatever. Mine like was from like 100 and up or whatever because it's made for like wheels or whatever. So gave him like 20 bucks and uh, he let me borrow that. Torqued them all down to 24 pounds. You can do like 22, 24. I think I just did like 24 foot pounds. Um, so torqued all those and then. Um, Anyways, the last thing was the ceramic coat. Um, like I said, once the faces were done and powder coated, I had Matt do those also. So he used uh, the IG, IGL wheel coating, I think is what it's called. He used that to ceramic coat them. Um, so he did the faces first, and then I got them put back together and torqued and all that good stuff and sealed with the, uh, the caulk. And I ended up uh, having him do the entire wheel, so the barrels, the lips, and all that good stuff, just so it's easier to clean and you know all that stuff. Um, and he charged me you another know, hundred dollars for that, so two hundred dollars for all of the ceramic coating. Most places charge like between three and four for like mesh wheels like that. So um, I got a good deal. He went. He said he usually charges like three hundred dollars, but he wanted to help me out, and uh, he said he really liked the wheels and liked the, the time I was putting into them. So uh, he just did those for me for a good price. That's pretty much it. So I added up everything, and I have a total of thirteen hundred and fifteen dollars of all the stuff I've had. Um, to fully rebuild them basically from taking them apart to obviously sell the whole the whole series so um, That's what I have invested in them plus. I got them for like I said 625 bucks So I'm still under um, two grand for the wheels like I said a, a set of dream wheels and I could have saved money here and there like if I knew how to powder coat I could have did like the barrels myself um, If I knew how to polish I could have did the lips myself so there's there's stuff that you can save money on um, Especially the hardware the hardware is like really expensive since it was like the what almost $200 for it but I was quoted like $300 for hardware at the beginning and I know ARP makes some like M10 bolts because these are the 3 8 bolts so 3 8 or M10 I do I do know they make those but I think they're a lot more money though because I almost have $300 in hardware but I got like 260 or whatever but uh, like I said if you are rebuilding them be sure that you guys keep the original uh, washers if not you have to have probably like a machine shop go ahead and I don't know remake them for you or cut them fresh or however they would do that but uh all of the the washers that are for three eighths even like the chrome ones because i got everything from allen's fasteners so shout out to them because they did send me some bolts and like 15 or 16 of them had like the the stuff chipping off of them even though i had to wait like a month for them to get in stock um so i contacted them and they sent me uh brand new bolts without really uh complaining about it too much because um, i sent her the pictures so Shout out to them for that. Um, good customer service for them. Um, like I said, that's where I got the hardware. So that's pretty much the end of the series. So probably here in like a month, the wheels will be on the car for a short period. Um, I'm probably gonna have them on until like October, November, because I want to take some like um, some shots outside when it's you know all the leaves are changing and everything like that. So 
and then she'll go back on the style fives so she'll be good to go here um so thanks guys for watching the video if you guys watched all the videos appreciate you uh checking out the whole series and uh going through the first set of wheels that i've uh, rebuilt in my whole life so um i definitely want to rebuild another set of wheels because it's really fun and uh just interchanging parts and putting everything back together and then putting them on the car so um if you guys want to check what they look like on the car i'll probably leave links down below but um when the video is up i'll go ahead and like leave a card or whatever for you guys to check it out and then i'll do like a little cinematic with the wheels on the car so you guys can see what they look like on the car um with the build so Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out uh, the links down below. Join the Epsilon group if you guys uh, like Epsilons. Because I made one for Facebook for us. So uh, anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out the other ones if you guys want to check out the whole, uh, the whole journey of doing the build. And uh, peace.